us who are the ways of holiness and love. Teach us to raise our minds and hearts often to the Trinity, and to fix their own a respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims. Your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead yes, us into light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. But let each minute take us further into the depths of the Alice mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love and unity. And my mouth will proclaim your praise. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Who oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, and in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall bring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not serve. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. 
then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. of your house, 
They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see the light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for a bright heart. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evil to the worst fall, flung down, they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Now that you say we see, your guilt remains. Lord, give me this water that I may not thirst. I give, th I give you thanks, O Lord. Though you've been angry with me, your anger has evaded, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior, I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. We join you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Lord, give me this water that I may not thirst. No one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Bring out your joy to the Lord, O oh, you just, for praise is fitting for loyal <laughs> hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the heart, <coughs> with a ten-string lute sing him songs. O oh, sing him a song that is new, Play loudly with all your skill. For the word of the Lord is faithful, <coughs> and all his words to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. By his word the heavens were made, by the breath of his mouth all the stars. He collects the waves of the ocean, he stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear the Lord, all who live in the world revere him. He spoke and it came to be, he commanded it sprang into being. He frustrates the designs of the nations, he defeats the plans of the peoples. His own designs shall stand forever, the plans of his heart from age to age. 
They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. From the place where he dwells he gazes on all the dwellers on the earth. He who shapes the hearts of them all, and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse, despite its power it cannot save. The Lord looks on those who revere him, of those who hope in his love. To rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our souls <coughs> are waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In him do our hearts find joy. We trust in his holy name. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. snatch them out of the Father's Return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. The Lord said, Peter, I do not tell you to forgive only seven times, but seventy times seven. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, 
who set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way. To give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Lord said, Peter, I do not tell you to forgive only seven times, but seventy times seven. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray, but make us dedicated to your holy service, and of all times obtain for us your help. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your Spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the word, eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O God, disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by His light, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Acapitos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our life. Angelus Domini Nunziavit Mariae, Et concepite Spiritus Santo. Et ce angela domini. Fiat mihi secundum verbum tuum. Et verbum caro factum est. Et habitavit in nomis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, 
Dominus Christi fili tu incarnationem coniovimus, per passione meius et cruce, ad resurrectionis gloriam per ducamur, per iundem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Amen. 